Hi, this is Randy, N0LD. I'm going to show today that you can put a ground rod in the ground with just a pair of gloves and a hose and a little bit of patience. It takes about five minutes, so we'll go from here and give this a shot. Okay, with the hole down here, we put just a little bit of indentation because I like to put the ground rods uh, below the surface so that when I tie the uh, wire to it, it is all below ground and you won't walk on it. It's on a trip hazard or anything like that. It is about 10 feet away from the tower base and that's why Roan recommends that you uh, have a star pattern out. We're putting in five ground rods total. We already put one ground rod in today and it went in in about five minutes this way. So hopefully I won't hit a rock and it won't prove that I'm wrong. Let's go ahead. Uh, Samantha, you want to put a little water in it? <clears throat> By having a concave hole, the water just naturally flows into the bottom of the hole. And then you just start chunking and you just keep putting it in. And if the hole gets dry, you just put a little water in and that lubricates the soil, the sand. This is an eight foot ground rod and already it's five feet left to go in. And now it's about four and a half. Put a little more water in there, hon. Now this is very sandy soil, if you had rocky soil this might not work smoothly, I understand that. Got about three foot to go. And I think once you see this done, you will never worry about putting ground rods in again. You're a cheap deterrent to lightning on your tower. And I and putting the lightning rod, I mean, I'm putting these grounding rods in now before I put the tower any taller. Because if you put it in afterwards and you get a storm, it's the most susceptible your tower is to lightning. Got about a foot left to go. And you can tell we didn't need a lot of water to do this. another four or five inches and we'll have it. And about another inch and we'll have it. And that's good enough, but we'll do one more chunk. There we go. And that's how you do a ground rod. 